I, I always wanted to write a book. That was just a bucket list item. It's not just any book, it's a memoir. Marilyn Grunwald took her experiences growing up in Scotland and put them on paper. I was born on October 28, 1953, in Forfar, which is in the county of Angus in Scotland. As the youngest of eight children, Marilyn stood out. She was born with a defect that impacts the formation of the spinal cord. It can affect everything. Some people with spina bifida just have a weak bladder. Some, like me, have problems with lower limbs, and uh, some others are catastrophic. The many hospital stays didn't stop her desire to travel across Europe. From London to France, the Canary Islands, and Germany, Marilyn's travels went hand in hand with her job selling telephones. It was in London where she met her future husband, and it was a whirlwind. We kept up a correspondence. We, uh, we met on January 22nd. I came to New York to be with him on February 22nd, and we were married on March 22nd. Marilyn's journey to the States was different from many who today hope to immigrate to the country. Tonight, a rush toward the southern border as thousands of migrants make a desperate push to enter the U.S. I was very lucky because look at me. Do I look like a foreigner? I've got a certain complexion that made life much easier for me than it is for many people who come into this country. But that didn't mean life in a new country didn't come without its challenges. In the United Kingdom, we have this glorious thing called socialized medicine, which people are fighting to the death in America about. And it's not just expenses to worry about. A study published in the National Library of Medicine found that adults with disabilities are four times more likely to report their health to be fair or poor than people without disabilities. People talk about America and quality of care, but as the years have gone on here, you might have noticed, I don't see a great deal of exceptional quality of care in America. Not for the people who would mostly benefit from socialized medicine, that's for sure. But Marilyn found care in her family. She lives with her daughter, son-in-law, and four grandchildren and spends her days engaging in local politics. She hopes one day to teach at the local college. I would like to teach politics as it actually is and not political science history from a hundred years ago. Reporting from Santa Clarita, I'm Lauren Hanna.